Hey everybody, Newsman 1967, Stephen M. Tobin, and I wanted to touch base on the passing of legendary Chicago journalist Dick Kay. He passed away uh, early this morning here in Chicago, Chicago area, apparently of a brain aneurysm. He was 84 years old. Uh, he started his political career back in 1968, fresh out of Bradley University, where he went ahead and covered the DNC, the Democratic National Convention which was a historic event, obviously. So once he covered that event, I'm sure he realized that, that the um, doing journalism was really what he wanted to do with the rest of his life. And so from 1968 till 2006, uh, entire career pretty much, he was a political editor and host of City Desk, was a TV show that as an aspiring journalist, someone like myself looked up to him and I went ahead and watched that. I, did, I, did, I was able to meet Mr. K and Wayne Besson, who was another co-host at WCPT a few years ago. I did a pizza, pizza joint out in DuPage County. And uh, former Governor Mayor Pat Quinn had gone ahead, and he was there speaking as well for in support of other Democratic candidates. So Mr. K was uh, very um, efficacious. He was very gracious to people. He was always uh, friendly to people, and he definitely spoke on political causes. And he definitely got the progressive base uh, as to what he was. You know, that was really what he wanted to do. So once he retired in 2006, he was able to go ahead and you know work at WCPT. Uh, News Web Corporation and go ahead and you know host his show Doogie's Place. He had a web he had a website. He had a Facebook page, and I listened to his show many times. I called into a show on several occasions as well. And like I said, I did I did meet up with uh, one of his co he uh, Mr. K and one of his co-hosts uh, Wayne Besson several years ago, and I've also met with you know other other people who were on his show. Um, we had Norman Goldman. Uh, he, he knew him. Norman Goldman wasn't actually based in Chicago, but uh, Mr. K did did work for him at the same WCPT radio station, and they occasionally filled in for each other. So yeah, um, you know w anybody who's lived in Chicago for any length of time knows who Dick K is w without question. I've lived in Chicago. I was born in 1967, and I lived in Chicago for probably about 40 of my 54 years. So I definitely know Mr. K. Always watching him on TV and he's covering stories and going downtown and you know, seeing him interviewing all the politicians and everything like that was really uh, something that, that really gave me an aspire to what I want to do. So I've been doing journalism for a while too myself. And that Mr. K was definitely an inspiration to any of us and all of us who are in journalism who want to go ahead and use our petition to enlighten the public as well as speak truth to power, which is definitely what the, uh, what the fourth estate is all about. So Mr. K was definitely an institution here in Chicago. And I'm assuming that if he's not already, he will definitely be enshrined in the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. And Godspeed uh, into the heavens, Mr. K. Thank you for your work highlighting progressive causes. And God bless to Mr. Dick K. R.I.P., 84 years old, passed away um, earlier this morning here in the Chicago area.